So if you're having trouble drawing, uh, like a still life or something like that, uh, it's pretty normal. Um, when you want to practice your measuring techniques, you got to set something up first. And you're going to use the same techniques that you would to measure a single object, except you're going to use those sort of common units and check them all against all of the objects at once. And you're going to measure a bunch of different distances and kind of count and see where all of these objects line up visually. Um, and to do that, you want to make sure that you're using a very consistent unit and that you're able to repeat those measurements up on the page. So whatever unit you're going to use, you just kind of decide and go with that the entire time and check and make sure how close you are. Um, a lot of times, if you've been drawing a while, that's going to be really close. Sometimes it won't be. Um, one of my favorite things to do, though, is to check horizontal and vertical alignment um, because that's really easy and it doesn't involve a whole ton of thought or effort and I like that when it comes to drawing and checking because a lot of times you don't even have to draw these lines out once you um, can cite them out you don't need to kind of ruin your drawing by creating all these construction grid lines but I think it's perfectly okay to um, if you are gonna put those construction lines down you're gonna have to probably make your object lines a little bit darker just so you can see the difference or use a different uh, color or pencil when you do that. Um, it's pretty common. Um, I always hated the envelope method because um, I felt it was completely useless, but you know, it might work for you and so you should know how to do it. Um, what you're going to do is basically just cite out angles and sort of bind all of the objects around each other. And I always find that I kind of mess up as I go along, like the, the angle that I cite out by the time I bring it to the drawing is different and um, you know I always found that really frustrating in drawing class when we had to do this um, but um, if you can do this kind of consistently and and you're good at citing angles then yeah absolutely use this um, and it's just another tool that you have in your toolkit um, when to pull out when you need it um, another one that I go back and forth on sometimes I use it sometimes I don't is just checking positive and negative shapes um, you know I'm, I'm thinking about form all the time and um, not necessarily about two-dimensionality so this hasn't been use as useful to me as other techniques um, and a negative shape is basically the shapes that surround an object and you know if you're using the en envelope method it might combine really well with checking negative shapes because you it kind of gives you an extra negative shape a positive shape is a shape that surrounds objects, especially objects that overlap. So even though this is two objects, it's kind of one positive shape. For my purposes, I just use the horizontal and vertical alignment and draw forms because that works for me.